All right, gentlemen. Um, I shouldn't have to introduce this guy. This is Louisville basketball right here to my right. Fortunate enough to be able to be in a position uh, with taking this job of surrounding myself with not just people that I have had relationships with, but that are the best of the best. And for this university to have, to bring back um, Milt Wagner and me being the person that's starting it, it's pretty special for me because the first day I ever hit this campus, my first meal that I ate on this campus was with Milt and his family. And for all of us that were freshmen in that class, this is the person that we looked up to. Um, so I'm excited, I'm happy uh, that I get to bring him back. Um, it's an unbelievable story, but this is one of the unique situations when I talk about having one of the best staffs in the country and having a championship culture, you're looking at somebody that wanted as a college player, but also wanted as an NBA player. That's two more championships. Where? Where are other staffs that's done that? <laughs> this is really unique. So I'm excited, happy. Questions? Kenny, what will the job description entail and what do you envision Milt being able to do and help you with this on this staff? So the job title will be player development and uh, alumni relations. Uh, player development is another word for coach. <laughs> maybe not on the floor, maybe not out recruiting, but to spend time with players and really getting to know them, but more importantly, allowing them to get to know you and what your life has been is an important role for me. Um, and it's a unique situation. So I'm excited about that, having Milt day to day be with these guys, sharing his life, but also allowing them to open up to him and share their lives. Uh, I'm not really allowed to talk about recruiting, so I have to stay away from the recruiting piece of this, but um, John can answer that over there in the back for me. <laughs> Kenny, as you mentioned, first meal you had was with Milt and his family. What's your, how's the relationship between you two grown from that moment through the years? Um, he's a brother. In a true sense of the word, he's my brother. Um, even when I was playing in Philadelphia, um, his brother, uh, Day Day, used to come by and see me. Uh, I used to spend a lot of time in New Jersey when I was living in Philly. So Mill's been in my life on a regular basis ever since I've been a player here and even as an NBA player. So true family member. Yes, in his apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Come on, Eves. I know you got a question. <laughs> He's shaking his head, Egg. <laughs> uh, congratulations. Thank you, Jerry. You know, again, this is unique um, for me to be the driving force to bringing the past to the future, to help build a culture that we all could be proud of. Uh, I think earlier today I was asked a question about what would it feel like for me to win a championship? can't answer that. What I can say is, what would it feel like for you? What would it feel like for you in this room, 
what would it feel like to, for this community, for this university, for this state? I'm only the vehicle that's trying to help it happen. That's it. It's not about me. It's about everybody else. And when I talk about putting something together that's special, look, we can talk about the importance of recruiting players, but it has to start with who those players are with every day. And I think I've done a really good job of putting together a great staff. Not good, great. Now my job is to allow them to have an impact. And I'm gonna do that. They're gonna have an impact on lives. And the next phase is bringing in the best of the best. And then now you're talking about building a true culture of winning. And that's what I'm trying to do. Kenny, before you filled out your um, bench staff for your three assistants, was there any talk between uh, you and Milt about him potentially filling one of those roles? No. no. I just felt like, for me, um, Milt's been out of it for a while. Uh, I want him to get his feet wet. I want him to come back and be in this community. I want this community to go to places and Milt is there with players. Let's start there. Let's start with bringing back the old with the new so that this community remembers Milt Wagner. These kids get to know who Milt Wagner is. That's important. Kenny, um, what about, we, you've talked about the alums and your brothers and that. How big of a piece will that be for him to help kind of with some of those guys around? And then the second question, the release also said that Reese will be on in some capacity in, in video. So to answer the first part of the question, um, we have a big family. <laughs> so the former players that have played here, Jerry E's, you've been one, you know the importance of what it's supposed to be like to take pride in this university. Well, that's his job is to facilitate some of that. These players will no longer feel like they're not a part of this. They are a part of it. This community will know that these players that have poured their heart, soul into this university, they're gonna be seen and heard now. That's a part of what my job is. Uh, I could easily not be in this role and be one of them. So how would I want it to look for them? That's how I'm making these decisions. What better ambassador for the University of Louisville than to have this man right here? I don't know if you guys remember the glove, the free throws, the, the part down the middle of the hair. <laughs> I mean, there's been so many. <laughs> Results to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, there's, there's, this is special. This is special. Kenny, um, Penny Hart, Penny Hardaway. Oh. I got. It. So the Reese Gaines. So every position on this staff is vital. Not one over the other. Reese Gaines will be in the video room. He will be helping put together game plans for us to win. He is in an integral part of this basketball program. Um, and that's important for, for me to say this. This is not in any way a demotion to him. He is a part of the basketball program. And we need him. I mean, he, here's another guy that, what did he score here, 2,000 points? Come on, guys. Like, <laughs> this is Louisville basketball. <laughs> uh, Penny Hardaway gave an interview earlier this week where he said he wanted, he'd reached out to you or was going to reach out to you about a home and home series with Memphis. Have you responded to him? And are there any um, non conference games that are out of the ordinary that you're considering or about to announce? Well, Penny did reach out to me, and uh, I told him I'd get back with him. Hadn't done anything yet. Um, we're going through it. Um, we'll see how it falls out. You know, really hadn't had a chance to really dwell all the way into it, but 
we will. Not yet. Not yet. I'm keeping it secret, man. You know that. <laughs> Kenny, I think the last time we talked to you, you were just getting the kind of get to know you phase with, with your new players. How has that gone and and what what has that been like for you? Well, the players, most of the guys hadn't been here yet. They get here next week. Um, so I'm excited to get everybody on campus. Uh, been talking to a lot of moms. Uh, Going to spend some time with the staff and the families and and let everybody know what this is, exactly what this is, what to expect, and to inform them of how much we're going to need the families as well. Kenny, um, I guess with you having been an assistant coach and Mel having been an assistant coach, you know, what kind of things do you feel like you can glean from him, his experience in terms of this, this new position for you? Um, listen, the basketball piece, there's no person sitting in my seat that can do this by themselves. Now, that may sound strange because head coaches typically come off like they got all the answers. You're only going to be as successful as your staff. I need Milt. I need Danny. I need Nolan. I need Josh. I need Reese. I need every person that's a part of this staff, Stephanie included, to help me. Whether it's basketball, I left out a guy, Kenny Klein. I need <laughs> Kenny Klein. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying to you is that there's this terminology that they use about programs like this. You have to be the CEO of a company. Well, I'm only going to be as successful as was surrounding me and I need the protection I need the wisdom I need their experiences um, we have coach Cal in common Milt worked for coach Cal he went to Auburn with coach Barbie um, so he's been in in these shoes where he's coached I'm gonna take advantage of that Kenny 80 days or so into the job is this what you expected it's been, you know, Jerry, it's been at times really fast. And at times it's been slow to a point where it's surreal. Um, and what I mean by that is you have a day off and your mind is racing on, all right, what, how do I build this to what's the next phase? It's constant. Um, and until you live it, you can't describe it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really one of those situations where I can tell you what I'm going through and it's, unless you live this in the pressure of one, putting a staff together, two, bringing in players, three, do you, how you bring in the players? Like, are you gonna bring in kids that are really talented that may not fit the mold? I have to be really careful and think about a lot of different dynamics to this because my heart is saying, do what's right, even at the cost of everything else, mm -hmm. do what's right. Mm -hmm. And I have to follow my heart. Name, image, and likeness made it difficult. It's made it very difficult, uh, but for me, I just got to be honest. Uh, I don't want a kid to come to Louisville for money. I want a kid to come to Louisville because it's the right fit, because of the people, the Dannys, the Mills, the Nolans, the Josh, um, for myself, come and get our knowledge. Yes, we got NIL money, but that's not the reason to come here. Come and take advantage of, of all these great people that I've surrounded, tried to surround you with, so that you can succeed in life. Thanks, Kenny. All right, fellas. I truly believe timing is everything. 
you know, it wasn't the right time at that time. And now the opportunity presented itself. I got my brother, it's the head coach, gave me an opportunity to come back, be a part of a historic program where I won a championship with, which we won a championship together. So I believe this is just the right time and situation. I'm just so happy to be here. Bill, he talks about championship culture and listed off the multiple championships that, that he and you and other members of his staff uh, have. How much, from your perspective, how much of a difference will that make um, working with the kids, recruiting other players and things like that? I think it will make a, a big difference because we've, we've been there, we've done that. All of our, most of our staff has won national championships. I've won an NBA championship. And we kind of we know what it takes to, to get to that level. I think kids respect that. You know, they, they believe me, they do their research on who they coming to play for. So they look at our backgrounds and they see all the experiences we had and all the things we've done. So I think it plays a big part in, in getting kids here. Milk, uh, Kenny alluded to the pressures. Now that you're going to be helping him, do you feel the pressure to win a national championship and put Louisville back in the prominence that it's been? Well, you know me, Ease. I ain't scared of pressure. You know, hey, come on. <laughs> no, come on. No, no I, I don't feel like it's pressure. I mean, I think we got enough experience, and as long as we do our job, I think we'll be heading toward that right direction to win that national championship here and bring it back to Louisville. Well, you know, you kind of, it's like I said, it, it was timing. You know, you, of course you would want your brother to get the job, but, you know, it didn't happen. Hey, you just had to move on and knew the opportunity would present itself eventually somewhere, wherever it was going to be. Just fortunate it's here, you know, because every, every guy wanted to play for his, or coach for his alma mater. I mean, that's just what it is. You know, I've always wanted to be here. Kenny has always wanted to be here. Timing was right for him. Now this time is right for me. So we're both here together, and we're going to try to get this program back to where it needs to be and try to win us a national championship. Yeah, Milt, there, there's a lot of guys that played here that weren't from here, and then after they were done, they went back to where they were grew up or whatever. But six years ago, you came back here. Um, why did you come back to Louisville, and what's been the pull for you? Well, as a player, I saw how former players came back every year. A lot of guys come back and live here. And I just felt like I knew I was coming back here when all my playing career was over or coaching career was over. I knew I was going to come back here to live. I knew that leaving college in 86. So that was a no-brainer. And you see so much of our former players that still live here right now. So every time I come back every summer, I see all some of my guys, some of the guys I didn't play for, but former players that live here in Louisville. So I felt like it was a brotherhood that I just want to come back to and be a part of. Will you be teaching free throw shooting? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how would you describe, you know, what your role is going to be with the players? Well, basically, I'm like a lias liaison to, uh, between KP and, and the players, you know. I'll kind of just tell them what KP likes and what he's looking for and just experiences, you know, because I know everything KP is thinking pretty much. And, and them guys are coming to me. Things KP might not know that I can get out of the guys, you know, and I'll let him know that. So I'm just kind of like the middle man, just to help them communicate between coach and player and just tell them some of my experiences. Yes, you know, you have different kids these days. You know, it could be a little difficult, but just like I said, you know, kids, they do their homework. You know, they look at your background, and a lot of kids, they'll respect what you have achieved, and, they, and a lot of them will listen a lot more when they know that you've been there, done that, and you can help them get to where they're trying to get to. So I don't think it would be a problem. A lot has been said over the course of time about former players and the disconnect maybe with previous staffs. How do you help create or, or create a, where there's not a divide between former players now and bringing them back? Well, just like Coach Payne has said, we want to let players know this is their team, our former players. This is their team also. You know, 
We want them to feel connected to this team and let them know they're family. We all family. We want our, our current players to know that they have family outside of us here at the staff, that they got former players that have been there, you know, and that's we all brothers. We're all the family, and we want to make this a family situation here. So I think that's my job, just to bring our former players back. And I know they've been wanting to come back for the longest, so I don't think that would be a problem. So, you know, oh, we got open hands to these guys. That, you know, this is their program. Milt, do you, Milt, do you envision this being a, a long-term thing for you, this position? Yeah, I'm taking it one step at a time. I'm, I'm just happy to be here, to be truthful. You know, I'm here. I'm at my alma mater with my brother, KP. Got a great coaching staff with us. I'm just ready to get started and get this program back to where it needs to get, get to. Oh, it's great. It's just, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's great to just watch my family, you know, progress in, the, in this basketball world, you know. So I just continue watching. But right now, this is just about me <laughs> being a, on this coaching staff and just be a part of the University of Louisville. Milt, when you were at Memphis, uh, Dewan was there. We all know that your grandson is one of the top players in the country. Are, do you have to stay out of that? Uh, in, in terms of what happens going forward in recruiting of him? Well, I'm not, I'm not getting into that right now. Like I said, this is just about me getting on the staff this year. This is about Milt Wagner being player development slash alumni relations. You know, we'll get into that part later on down the line, but right now this is about me be, being part of the University of Louisville. No, uh, how much more involved or complicated is, uh, you know, the, the job that you're taking? I mean, what things – do you see now that you didn't see in some of your, your other stops? Well, I don't think it's, it's pretty much the same, basically. You know, being at my position, I'm just not on the floor. But still, I am pretty much have the coach mindset. You know, I get to talk to the players, tell them what they need to be doing, what they should be doing, things like that. So I don't think there's any difference just that I'm not on the court doing it. I'll be off the court just still being kind of like they mentor. It's like I said, I'm the middleman between Coach Payne and and the players, and just kind of helping them get through and be successful with what they're trying to do. How would you talk about bringing back the players and making them feel like it's their program and that's part of your job? Does that mean if they're, like, upset about the offense or something? <laughs> well, I ain't going to get that far with it. But we, we'll listen, but, you know. <laughs> Mill, how would you describe, I guess, your relationships with the other guys on the staff right now and Danny, Josh, and Nolan? Oh, man, I played against Danny. You know, we played. We had some battles together, so I've been knowing him. Now, of course, I know Nolan. I played played with his dad, so I've been knowing knowing Nolan since he's a little kid, and I know Josh through Kenny. So, and, you know, of course, Reese is an alumni. So, it's like I say, it's one big happy family. We all know each other. You know, it's not like we all strangers to each other. So, we have that com camaraderie that, that we can have. But when you Kenny was talking about the the dinner at your apartment way back when. How much did you guys stay in touch over the course of years? I mean, was it something that it was uh, you know, weekly conversations or, or, or just kind of in general? Kind of kind of give us a sense of the last 10 years maybe what it's been like. Well, basically, we kind of – it wouldn't be every week, but, you know, we follow each other's career. You know, everybody, all our brothers, we follow each other's career. We get a chance to holler. Like, if they accomplish something along the way, we'll call them, congratulations, this and that. Congratulations on a new job or a big win. We just stay in contact like brothers. You know, when a brother do something well, or even just for conversation, we'll call just to say, how you doing? You know, how's everything going? Or we might try to get advice from each other because we both was in the coaching world. I might call him for some advice. He might call me. So we just stay in contact like that all the way through, even as players. When he was playing with the Sixers, you know, I played for the Lakers, Miami Heat, and I played overseas. We all stayed in contact with each other. So. That's been an ongoing thing since, since I left, you know, in 86. So, just like I said, we brothers. That's the bottom line. We've been brothers then, and we're still brothers now. Do you remember at any point in, in your relationship with him, do you remember when you thought, like, he's going to be a coach? Like, can he, can he <laughs> Well, probably, probably middle, the middle of the season, because I, I played with Kenny his freshman year, okay? 
So he was still trying to fill out what he was going to do. He didn't really know what he, he knew he wanted to play basketball and get to the league. But I think once he became junior and senior, you kind of seeing, you know, the detail that he had toward the game that he, possibly he was going to be a college coach. So you played with him as a, what was he like that first year? Um, obviously he had some big moments, but you know, he was on the bench and watched you guys win the 86 championship. What was he like as a teammate? That he was one of them shy kids, you know, he shake his head like that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but you know, he didn't say much. Like I said, from Laurel, Mississippi, he was kind of to himself, but you could tell he was six, eight and really shoot it. So you knew the potential was there. And you know, he was playing, he was playing behind some good players, some great players, you know, Billy, Herb Crook, you know, in, in a Purvis. So he had some guys in front of him. But, you know, he learned from them guys. When his opportunity came, he took advantage of it. Bill, you were around some this past year. You saw, you were at some games and you and you watched the guys. Now that you're part of a staff, how do you guys, the guys that are coming back, take them and move forward and, and put last year and kind of rip the rear mirror off? Well, we just, like I said, you put last year behind. This is a new, it's a new era. You got new coaches, new system. And we're just going to put them guys in positions to be successful. That's the bottom line. We, we look at every guy's ability, and we try to put them in the best position to be successful. So, Bill, from last year's group and, and those guys coming back, who really kind of impressed you? Well, everybody that's coming back actually has something. Sydney, Sydney has some good, some good moments. Ellis has some good moments. JJ has some good moments. So. So, so we got a lot of guys that had good moments. That all we got to do is to get them to put it together, all together for a whole season. Anything else? Anyone? Great. Thank you. Okay.